So hello. Hi. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah. Um, my name is Katie Greenaway. I'm a senior lecturer in social psychology at the University of Melbourne. What's your highest degree? PhD. And where'd you get that? University of Queensland. So describe your sense of fashion. Are you eclectic, classic, trendy, or random? <laughs> uh, using those options. Classic, or if you want to add another one. <laughs> classic. Classic with an eclectic twist. So what's something you're working on right now that you're excited about? Uh, my lab does experience sampling research. So we study phenomena, psychological phenomena in people's everyday lives. So I'm really excited about using people's cell phones to get in touch with how they're feeling and who they're with at a given moment, just a sneak peek into how people live their lives. Tell us about one of your favorite conference experiences. Um, a conference in Granada, Spain. Uh, amazing food and they served wine with lunch. So what's a downside of your job? Downside is uh, you need to be very uh, self-motivated and uh, you make your own deadlines, which is a great part of the job, but can also be challenging to get things done sometimes if you don't really feel motivated to push things through. Tell us about one of your proudest achievements. Getting my first uh, postdoc funded by the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research. And that was a big one because it meant that I could make the jump from PhD to postdoc. If you were just finishing high school today, would you pick the same path that led you to where you are now? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Okay, good. What's a favorite way for you to spend your free time? Uh, drinking, eating, hanging out with friends, uh, all of the stuff that isn't hobbies but feels like a hobby to me. What's something that frustrates you about your field? Probably the publication process and how non-transparent it is and down to the individual um, interest in the reviewers and the editors, so lack of um, openness, I think, in publishing. What's something that you get very picky about, you know, like a pet peeve? Acronyms in writing. Hate it. Uh, I, I don't think they should be used outside of a few very well-known um, acronyms. Name a song that describes your career so far. I thought about this one um, because you told me about it. <clears throat> and it's a song that I haven't actually listened to uh, and is, is kind of humorous. It's a Dutch song called Gun met die Banaan, which is a Dutch saying which means go with the banana which sort of the meaning of it is like, just do it or get it done or like, let's go. Uh, and I think that, yeah, that's important in an academic career. Do you have a favorite book, movie or TV show that you highly, highly recommend? So fun fact about me, I don't have favorites of things. It's like a weird moral stance that I take, uh, but a TV show that I was obsessed with uh, late last year was the latest season of Succession, which I love. Who's someone famous that you've met or saw? Um, Non-academic. Uh, Either way. I, I saw Taika Waititi at, uh, at a dinner here in LA once, and that was very exciting for me. Hmm. What's something that you consider a fact in psychology? Probably certain... Um, cognitive heuristics and shortcuts that we take. The cool thing about social psychology is that context changes a lot of the phenomena that we look at. And so maybe also the fact that context changes things is a fact. Describe your take on Sigmund Freud in one word. Retro. Who's one of your role models? Uh, James Gross is an emotion regulation researcher in my field um, and just all around great human. So he's incredibly productive, but incredibly um, supportive and mentors people around him really, really well. Have you been able to meet him? Yes, he came and visited Melbourne a couple of years ago and uh, my lab directors and I uh, still talk about him as the best human. 
What was your first publication about? Uh, it was about uh, how uh, construing um, historical atrocities from the lens of something that humans did to other humans as opposed to something one group did to another group can have unforeseen negative consequences in downplaying the severity of the atrocity and actually contributing to more negative attitudes between those group members. What's a bit of advice you might have for living a good life? Stay socially connected and invest in social relationships. What's your favorite city in the world? Well, again, I don't have favorites. Um, Highly recommended. I, I love New York. Have you ever seen a TV show or movie that comes close to accurately depicting, depicting academic life? And what was it if you do know one? I don't think so, but I don't seek out media that is uh, very representative of academia because it would annoy me if it wasn't accurate. What do you hope to be doing 10 years from now? Uh, exactly what I'm doing now, um, being an academic and still running my lab with my amazing co-directors. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you.